What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now unfortunately there is a bit of bad news in today's video. Now normally the January update for Star Wars Battlefront 2, the one with BB-8 and Capital Supremacy for the sequel trilogy, was scheduled to come out on tomorrow, January 30th, but unfortunately that is being postponed now. Ben, the community manager, has posted this little update about it, and he was on Twitter answering questions and stuff. So I'm going to go over everything, and there's a little bit of specifics that go along with this update. So it says, hello everyone, just wanted to drop a quick note about the update that was due to release on January 30th. During our testing, we found a critical issue that means we will be pushing the update to early next week. We already have a new build going through its regular pre-release checks and things are looking positive. Unfortunately, this is sometimes the reality in game development where testing continues right up until an update is deployed onto our live servers. Although disappointing, we feel it is much better that we find the issue now rather than have it slip through and make it to our live servers. We'll bring you a more concrete release window as soon as our pre-release work is complete and everything is in the green. This update brings with it two new heroes, the offensive-based BB-8 and the support-oriented BB-9E. Both heroes come with three abilities as well as three passives, and yes, BB-8 will be able to do the thumbs-up emote. The Age of Resistance will be joining Capital Supremacy with two new capital ships, the MC-85 Star Cruiser and the Resurgent Class Star Destroyer. We're also bringing Agent Kloss to Hero Showdown. We also have a variety of balance changes as well as fixes and improvements on the way. Darth Vader will now be able to block while choking. Auto players will be able to carry out melee strikes. Droidicas receive an increase to their shield and health. And voiceover announcers will now mention the era appropriate heroes that spawn. Finn and Kylo Ren both have new emotes which you can unlock via new milestones. Uh, they said as soon as we have more news on the release of the BB update we'll be sure to let you know. As always we thank you for your continued dedication and patience. So this is definitely disappointing, but honestly, there's so many bugs and glitches that are already in this game. I'm not going to be too upset if they're going to postpone the update to avoid more bugs and glitches. That is one of the biggest pet peeves I have with this game. So, I mean, I'm perfectly fine with this. I would rather them postpone it than release it and it be broken for another couple weeks for them to release a hot fix. So hopefully they keep us updated and hopefully we can get that update maybe on like a Monday or Tuesday. Who knows? But to compensate for the fact that this this update is getting pushed back. Ben said, in the meantime, we're also enabling three times experience for this weekend. So to make it up to the community, they're doing triple XP for yet another weekend. So if you missed it on last weekend, now's your chance to grind even more before the new update comes out. And then if you guys wanted to know the exact reason as to why the update is getting postponed, Ben said and replied to somebody. He said that the reasoning was under certain circumstances, not 100% of the time, you would be unable to deal damage to opponents while playing Capital Supreme. If this had made its way into the game, it would have been unpleasant. And yes, I agree. If you're playing Capital Supremacy and you couldn't deal damage to your opponent, that would be pretty frustrating, especially since everybody's going to be trying out the new era of Capital Supremacy. Everybody wants to test out the new ship phases. They want to test out the heroes on, in Capital Supremacy. They want to play with the new heroes. They want to play on Agent Kloss. And if you couldn't deal damage to each other, that would be pretty game-breaking. So I completely understand why they are pushing back this update. And then if you guys were curious, Ben posted yesterday on the Discord, he was going over the health of the heroes, and BB-8 will have 650 health, and BB-9E will have 600 health. And then he said, as always, things may change as we finish last minute checks and tweaks. So this is their health as of right now. Now he did say that they have three abilities and three passive abilities, so it sounds like they may be very, very powerful. The fact that they have three passive passive abilities is very interesting and they're going to be just as fast as probably a droidica rolling around the battlefront they have three abilities three passive abilities and they have as much health as someone like boba fett or han so these two heroes don't sound like they're going to be pushovers by any means they sound like they're going to be actually probably really dangerous so seeing that they have this much health and learning that they have passive abilities makes me a little bit more excited to play as them and then in regards to the officer changes Ben said yesterday, I confirmed elsewhere, it's not a nerf as such. We're changing the cone on the officer's battle command. It'll be 360 degrees now as opposed to all out in front of you. The radius has been reduced slightly as well. We're also lowering the amount of score you get for assists when you have buffed someone. This is kind of disappointing. It sounds like it'd be an interesting change. Just imagine it'll work the same way as the clone commando. You just have a 360 circle around you now instead of just buffing everyone in front of you. So unfortunately, you'll still be able to spawn in and 
and just buff everyone right at the beginning of the match and get free battle points. This doesn't sound like it's going to nerf the battle points almost at all, which I don't understand. I mean, we'll have to see how it is out on the actual battlefront to see if this makes much of a difference. I hope that it does. Otherwise, I don't really see the point of even making this change. So that's a little bit disappointing, but like I said, we'll just have to wait and see. And then if you needed confirmation on if you were getting any surprise like hero skins or infantry skins, somebody asked Ben on Twitter, any new skins coming this update? And then Ben said, not in this update. So we will not be getting any new secret surprise skins coming out. And then the final thing that I want to go over is somebody asked Ben, how long does it take to create hero skins? Just curious. And this brought up a pretty big discussion on Reddit. He said, it depends entirely on the appearance, two to three months sometimes. So obviously it's not going to take two to three months for something like the Chewbacca arm patch. But on the other hand, it could take probably two to three months for something like the Grievous skin, where it completely changes the way you look. It adds animations to him, like the smoke coming off of his armor. Something like that would take a long time. So there's a lot more work that goes into creating skins. It's a lot harder than just creating a mod. So this just gives you a little bit more explanation as to why it takes so long and why we don't have as many skins. Because it takes a lot longer than you would think. But that is going to do it for all the information that I have for you guys so far. Like I said, it's pretty unfortunate that they had to push the update back. But honestly, I'm okay with it as long as the update comes. And it doesn't have a ton of bugs and glitches. But overall, I'm pretty excited. It's nice to get that triple XP this weekend. I'm looking forward forward to the new heroes, especially knowing that they have a pretty high base health, they're going to be super fast, and they have basically six abilities, with three of them being passive, and then they have their three regular abilities. So my guess is probably Monday or Tuesday would be when we would see the update, and then as always, as we learn more information, I will keep you guys updated. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Be sure to follow me on all social media at Games, and then be sure to join the discord if you haven't already all the links are found in the description down below and that's going to do it for me guys and i will talk to you all in the next video how convenient to have you all together you saved me the trouble of hunting you down the first order will conquer you all soon we will reclaim the galaxy perhaps you'll take part